Dear friends, today we are going to discuss about the sacrum. As you may be aware that uh, the sacrum is formed by the fusion of five vertebrae that is S1 to S5. Uh, let us first discuss about one of the important structure that is known as the sacral promontory because it is very specific uh, regarding the radiological point of view. So first uh, you should know about uh, the sacral promontory and it is an important landmark in the radiology. Uh, the second thing that uh, one must know, there are two aspects, one is anterior, another one is posterior. The first is anterior, here you can see that there are S1 to S5, uh, five vertebrae, they are fused together, S1 to S5 vertebrae, uh, fuse, fusion. So this is important, five, and in the sacrum there are three vertebrae that are fused to form a tailbone that is known as the coccyx. Sacrum represents a development fusion of vertebrae. In the cervical, thoracic and lumbar, you have seen the separate, but here they are fused. This attaches to the coccyx below and looks like a butterfly. Just like a butterfly, you can see that uh, the sacrum bone looks like a butterfly if you want to see here and now you can see the four foramina uh, anteriorly you can see and posteriorly you can see so the on the anterior aspect these are the sacral foramen here in the posterior aspect there are also the four sacral foramen this is the posterior surface okay now you can see this is the sacral foramen on the posterior aspect and here on the left side they are four sacral foramen now the pelvic nerve s1 to s4 exit through these four pairs of foramen this is the point to be noted that the pelvic nerve passes through from s1 to s4 so where is the s5 the question should be <coughs> arised in the mind that uh, what about the S5. Now you look at this area. This is the sacral hiatus, a very, very important structure regarding the anesthesia point of view. I we will discuss later on. This is the sacral hiatus and through this sacral hiatus here, you can see this is the sacral hiatus. The paired nerves for S5 and the coccygeal nerve exit through this midline sacral hiatus. It is an important thing. So S1 to S4 from the sacral foramen and S5 and coccygeal nerve from the sacral hiatus. So it is quite clear over here. Uh, now here you can see that uh, this area that is encircled uh, by this uh, circle this area denotes the <coughs> coccyx and this area that I have encircled, this is known as the sacral canal. This is known as the sacral canal. Sacral canal is visible on the posterior aspect, which is probably visible here and the promontory on the anterior aspect that is clearly visible over here. And you can see that the sacral hiatus is formed by two lips of bone on the lateral aspect. These are the sacral cornu and the sacral hiatus lies between them. We actually inject uh, the drug into this sacral hiatus. Now here this is a, an articular surface for uh, the iliac bone joints and this makes a joints to the iliac bone that is known as the sacroiliac joints. So this sacrum bone a joint make a, makes a joint with the iliac bone and that is known as the sacroiliac joint. This is the base of the bone. This is the base of the bone that is in continuation with the lumbar vertebra 
and here is the apex of the bone that is fused with the coccyx bone so the base and the apex you should know that the apex is attached with the coccyx bone and the base is attached with the lumbar vertebra now uh, this sacrum is fused or make a joint with the lumbar uh, vertebra through a superior articular process process are the uh, out watching and this is the facets so thank you for